relationship. Watch this. Let's say it was cold up here and the snow was so deep uh -oh. you couldn't even move cars. Would anyone invite me and my wife to their house to so I could get off the hill? Everyone to Oh, oh well, my goodness, Lord. Write that down. <laughs> uh, I have some kind of relationship with you, right? I'm your pastor. You know something about me. You know I'm not going to kill all your kids or burn the house down or anything like that. You, you know something about me. So the question is God, is God fair? Can you expect to live your entire life having nothing to do with God, even to deny that Jesus is the Son of God, and then come not be on God's door and say, death and say, excuse me, I'm just going to move in with I think there are some deathbed experiences that are real. I want to tell you a little secret. I worry about people who accept Christ, and I worry about churches that don't nurture them. I worry about them not being willing to be nurtured. You know what? There, how many people could be in this church today? We could have 50, couldn't we? I'm, I'm happy with 27. That's fine. Well, we can have 50. And they can hear this. But do they want to be nurtured by the Word of God? Is this nice stuff I'm talking about? No. It's nice for the Christians. But you know what? Sometimes we fail to tell people what's really going to happen because we do not want to hurt their feelings. I'd rather them get mad at me now and be happy in heaven than be happy with me now and hurt them in hell. Can I get an amen, church? If you haven't trusted God to be your father, your savior, he's only your creator. Now listen, if he's not your savior, He's only your creator. And you make the choice whether you love him or you don't, right? And if you go through life not loving God, your heart becomes hard and bitter. How many of you have ever met people that are cold and bitter? It's not nice. It's a bad place to be. God is only their creator at this time. John 1, 12 and 13. But as many as receive him, to him gave him the right to become children of God. Notice, you've got to receive him. You've got to ask him in. To those who believe in his name, who were born not of blood, not of the will of the flesh, nor the will of man, but born of uh, God. Wow, well, that's a poor That's really a poor That's right. John 17, 9 says, I pray to them, I do not pray for the world, but for those whom you have given me, for they are yours. He prays that we stay strong. He prays that we do the will of God. He's concerned about us. We're important to him. John 3.36 He who believes in the Son shall have everlasting life. And he who does not believe in the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abides on him. How many of you like that verse? <laughs> Is it kind of blunt? I mean, you are 
not required to believe anything that's been said here today, are you? You're not required, are you? You can walk out of here and say, that guy's blowing smoke, right? And you reject everything you hear. I cannot make you love God or love Jesus, nor can anyone in this room make that occur. And you need to tell people that. I can't make you love God. I can't make you love Jesus. I can't make you want the Holy Spirit in your life. You have to want it. You have to ask for it. How many of you are stronger Christians today than you were the first day you accepted Christ? Aha, uh -huh. isn't that amazing? Did you grow? Uh, was it easy? Did you have to learn a lot of painful lessons? The lesson I learned in this is that I can approach people with the way I used to. I've got to learn a new technique. If you're fishing with the wrong bait, are you going to catch fish? If you're fishing with no bait, are you even going to stand a chance? Revelation 21 8 says, But the unbelievers shall have their part in the lake of fire which burns with fire and brimstone. That's out of the Bible. And see, if you just quote the word, and that sometimes it's hard to remember. But if you can quote the word, even though you don't know the verse or whatever, it's going to make a difference when you talk to people. I want to say this, if you've never accepted Christ as your Savior, Today should be the day. Today is the day of salvation, I heard. I think that's written somewhere. Should have put that on there. Let us pray. Almighty God, we stand here on this beautiful ridge and we learn about your power and your wisdom. You do not want any of us to go to hell. You pray for each one every day, I'm sure. Lost or found. You pray that the ones that have accepted you will become stronger. And the ones that have rejected you, you pray that their heart will be softened. Lord, we pray if there's anyone that needs to get anything right with the Lord, let it be today. And we ask this in your holy name. Amen. All right, everyone, we're going to sing 426. If there's anything that you need to... Hey, your boss. Huh? I'm just I'm sorry. Wait, wait just a second there before we have the invitation. Okay? Oh, I'm sure. I'm sorry. What is it for? God will take care of 426. We're going to sing the first and last verse.
you, my church family, for everything that you did when my mother passed away. And I want you to know how hard it was for me to come today. And I want you to know that every time I close my eyes to pray, I see my mom and she's smiling. And I know she's glad that I'm here. And I'm just so glad that I have such a wonderful, loving church family to, to come to and get support and peace. Well, I want to tell you a little secret. I know your, I have known your mama for a while. And I know exactly where she wants you. She wants you hearing the word of God and being blessed. Did, did it make you feel any better? I know one thing. You ain't me a better. Yeah. You know? She must have sent me back. I think so, because she was sure let it fly. Kelly. Mm -hmm. Go ahead yeah. and pick up and the And you know what? This is what your church family is for. <laughs> To grow and to go. And God will bless us. I found something this week I like. I want you to look at it. And can you all read this? May we read it together. Stretch forth your hand as a blessing. May you always have enough happiness to keep you sweet. Enough trials to keep you strong. Enough success to keep you eager. Enough faith to give you courage. Enough determination to make each day a good day. Amen. God bless you.